Croatia. Mm -hmm. We just got off the plane, fresh off the plane. We're so yeah. tired, we're showering, but we're on our way to eat some pizza and get some energy so that we can go ahead and explore. But it's hard to keep go going to the pizza when there's so many cool things. I like know. Roman soldiers, alleyways. This place looks like it's straight out of a movie. And fun fact, this Croatia, especially Split and Dubrovnik and all the other places in Croatia were the main stage for Game of Thrones, which is like my favorite show ever. He's a fake fan, I'm not. I watched the whole thing, I'm a huge fan. It's gonna be fun like, getting to explore the next few days and discovering Split and a few other islands that we're gonna be going to. One thing that I read online before coming <laughs> is that it said it's very touristy and it's set up for tourism. And you can totally see that, even though it has its like old city charm. You feel like you're in a the mall almost. Built it yeah, to be a true. mall. Beautiful. So like one day we'll have <laughs> gift shops here. Lots of Roman ruins. Uh, I'll be showing you a lot of really beautiful buildings that are still here today. We're here at the best rated pizza place in all of town and I heard from like three different locals that this is the place to be and they have the best pizza because it's run by Italians that just crossed the sea over to here. So you have olive oil with chili and garlic for you, it's homemade, small slice. What's the name of this place? Bocamora. Bocamora. So we were told guys the best pizza in Split. So we just got our pizzas and we got the best kind. We got one that's just all meat, prosciutto, bacon, some bacon lard and rosemary, and of course my favorite truffle truffle mushrooms. And it's supposedly the best pizza here in Croatia and ever, according to a bunch of articles I was reading on Google. So let's see if that's gonna be true. We started our day quite late. I think it's like 2, 3 p.m. and we're just having basically breakfast. But now it's lunch and we went to this highly reviewed and recommended place here called Boqueria. It's a, a kitchen and a winery. My goodness, we're here. We just got our food. We ordered some truffle pasta, oxtail risotto along with burrata and these three meatballs. And the food has not disappointed so far. Our pizza last night was amazing. Our brunch is amazing. And this view. I don't think you can call this brunch. Okay, fine. We're literally, lunch. We're literally eating pasta and prosciutto. Lunch. <laughs> it's so good. And look at the view. There's a cute little gelateria next to it. So you just everything is perfect. I'm really enjoying Croatia. It's like the most beautiful fairy tale-like city, and it just really gives you that European summer vibe. I love it. There's nothing that makes me happier than food. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, can we just eat? And of course, it's dessert time and I went to one of the most recommended dessert places in all of Split. And it's this place, um, I have to ask what the name is because it's, it's I don't know how to say it, Osh something like that. But uh, apparently the chef studied in America and now opened this beautiful, cute, pink little pastry shop. And uh, we fought over what to get because apparently everything is delicious. But I'll show you what we settled for. Let me also show you the options. It's uh, Generally, I'm not always a big fan of all these fancy pantsy pastries, but it can be really good if you know what you're doing. This is the shop with these options. So we're between this orange lavender cream one, this hazelnut one, and apparently this like hazelnut cream caramel one, which also sounds really delicious. She was explaining to me what uh, the best cakes are here. We have the orange lavender cake right over here and the hazelnut cream with vanilla. That first cake blew my mind. I think it's technically like an olive oil cake base. Delicious. Second cake. Crunchy on the outside, smooth yet rich and creamy on the inside. Delicious. We are on a sugar kick today because we came back right after that dessert to get the same ice cream that we got last night. And I got lavender with a different caramel waffle flavor this time. Obviously delicious though. It's so creamy. They actually have like homes for kitties right there, by the way. It's so cute. Look at their little homes. Hey, finally, after all that sweet dessert, I'm feeling pretty good though. We uh, stumbled upon this really cool entrance way into like this medieval looking underground palace. Literally, it's just, I guess, a bunch of shops inside of this dungeon medieval looking place. This is so cool.
Like they like picked really tall people. <laughs> They're so tall. I'm still growing, I swear. Christian. The choice is easy. Ooh. So what's it gonna be? <laughs> bronze or vlogger? Bronze is looking pretty cute. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ruby found this very beautiful, beautiful restaurant. And look, it's like all under here, under the beautiful big trees. This is incredible. It's like an enchanted restaurant. All right, so it's dinner time. And tonight, I found a special restaurant right by the ocean called Devore. It has great reviews, especially from locals. And it's so cute because look, it's completely just surrounded by little lights and it's like in a garden with white chairs and tables it has really great fresh seafood but tonight we're not gonna get seafood we're actually gonna go for the gnocchi and the veal which I heard uh, the Dalmatian cuisine loves veal and like lamb I'm excited and we're gonna start off with some delicious wine by the way Croatia is well known for their wines very good and so far We've had two glasses of red today and it was delicious. How's your first day in Croatia so far? So far it's uh, very, very exceptional. The weather this time of the year is actually perfect. Mm -hmm. The food's like very comparable to Italian. I hope I'm not insulting anyone. <laughs> I don't think that's an insult, it's a huge compliment. I guess being next to Italy, you know, you're gonna have some really great Italian food, but uh, it's been delicious. Anything near the Mediterranean or these different seas, just amazing. If this place had a really great winter, I would live here full time. Okay, so technically we are dining at a Michelin star restaurant by a Michelin star rated chef three times. Four I'm ready for this meal. I'm excited. This looks really good. It's like a kind of more of a potato. It's just very um, dense, but it's really good with the touch of that seafood taste you were talking about. Yeah, thanks uh, whoever parked here. Really, really appreciate that. Wow, three more cars are fitting on here. We just made the ferry. All right, guys, so just 50 minutes, an hour later, and we've made it to Brush. Okay, so this morning we woke up early to come to a winery and get drunk. I'm kidding. We're here to get some really delicious wine for a boat day we're gonna have. What's the name of the winery? Stina. This is Stina Winery. Definitely gotta stock up on a lot of wine. Are you guys trying to show me? Come and check this out. Wow. And completely with the glass tiles from inside. Liter 68,100. This was the level of the wine. You can see how much wine there was inside. And this was made in Austria. So right now we are in Bol. And Bol is on the southern coast of Brasch. On our road trip, of course, there's a beautiful fruit stand and we must stop. Mm. Mm. They good? Yeah, for you. Oh my god, the grapes are delicious. This is so fresh. Everything is so sweet. Ooh, the fig. The best peach of my life. The best fig of my life, ever. Stay tuned to watch more of my adventure through Croatia. Next up is Dubrovnik. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you'll have the best day ever.